Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Um, I, I've been looking at the uh, posts and hearing a lot of people and looking at videos on YouTube. And I'm hearing people talking about, of course, the events about September 22nd and 23rd and 24th. And I'm hearing a lot of pre-trib and post-trib and all kind of trib and stuff, you know. Um, here's the problem of what people, you know, not understanding concerning the uh, facts of the information about the procedure that, uh, so according to the scriptures, has to take place for you to understand the idea of how everything is going to come about. Um, now, the thing is, I, uh, you know, I'll shout out to End Time uh, Updates, my boy Cortez, you know, brain, uh, trying to clarify something to somebody on their chat. Shout out to you if I can see the video. Um, the thing is, here's a problem of what's missing in Bible prophecy that, you know, is not being talked about or, or is being mentioned to certain Bible prophecy elsewhere. But it hasn't been like, you know, manifest, really talked about uh, more and more. And it's important to understand this idea concerning the procedure that is going to take place based upon, like I said, September 22 and 23 and 24. That you know that you know precedes a, uh, 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 I think an eclipse or something, a lunar eclipse or something like that. Um. Uh, I, well, here's the thing. What's going to, what people need to understand, is the ideal of the grafting of the branch. You know, the branch, the the wild of the olive tree, you know what I'm saying, the wild olive tree branch, grafting in the natural branch, which is talking about that the Jews shall emerge with the Christians. That has to take place. And I keep telling people about the, uh, the adoption, you know what I'm saying, the spirit of adoption um, has to take place in Romans 8. Um, that has to come together. And, and also, you check out uh, Isaiah 64, talks about Zion in Jerusalem uniting, becoming a bride. And Jesus really uh, got the idea from the five versions, I mean the ten versions, five were wise and five were foolish, from that ideal in Isaiah, you know what I'm saying, 62, that it talks about Zion and uh, Jerusalem, that uh, Zion and Jerusalem has to become one, you know, country, it has to become one of people, that uh, it, that proceeds the sequence of, you know, and, and, and also they have to talk about uh, Ephesians 11, you know what I'm saying, Ephesians 11 is talking about, um, uh, the the mystery, you know what I'm saying, the mystery about the fullness of the Gentiles. Um, that has to happen. Uh, people are not really talking about that and not confounding on that idea, you know, the fullness of the Gentiles. Uh, it, it's so many events has to take place really before the rapture that I keep telling people to check out 1 Corinthians uh, 15 and 23 through, I think, 29, talks about an event concerning the kingdom of God uh, has to happen. You know what I'm saying? And in 1 Corinthians 15, you read down there, then the rapture takes place. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of stuff has to happen before, you know what I'm saying, the rapture. That is going to, uh, uh, I tell people we're supposed to, as what Paul is saying in uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 is to armor up, get ready for war. You know what I'm saying? Um, a war has to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are not talking about the war of heaven. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, guess what? The war of heaven is uh, talked about by the uh, Essenes, well, uh, the people in the, um, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Talks about the, uh, the sons of light and the sons of darkness. 
that that has to take place. You know what I'm saying? The children, the sons of darkness, the sons of light, that's talking about the angels fighting each other as it's in of uh, Revelations 12 has to proceed. And what's really the key of understanding what's really going to take place is really, I tell people, is the woman uh, giving birth, you know what I'm saying, to the man child. You know what I'm saying? That has to take place. And people are not understanding that idea of sequence. And they thinking that, you know, uh, oh, rapture's going to happen, this and that, said this person happened. What's going to happen is going to be a war, a spiritual war that's going to be natural. Well, you gonna people going to see naturally. It's going to be an all-out war going on in this world. And they're going to see, of course, darkness lose. As what really Paul is saying, they shall say peace and safety. That the end is their destruction. And that destruction is Paul talking about is to darkness. Darkness is going to get destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Not the light getting destroyed. See, and that's why he say, be children of the light. Because the children of the light is going to win this victory. Or more likely the sons of light are going to get the victory. You know what I'm saying? But the sons of darkness is going to lose. But here's the thing about this war that I keep telling people about. CERN. CERN is all about, of course, opening a portal to get evil uh, entities or demons here that they can come inside of people that are, has darkness in their heart. You know what I'm saying? That I've been teaching in, you know, YouTube, you know, for this in a while. People kind of like, uh, no, nah, that's not, you know, going to happen. You know, but yes, it is going to happen. Because here's the thing I keep telling people, that, you know, Satan is the kingdom of darkness. And if his kingdom rule and reign in darkness, if darkness is in your heart, you know, any kind of darkness in heart, they have permission to invade people, go inside people. You know, there's no choice. You don't make, you don't say, don't get inside me, then. No, they're going to come right in. You know what I'm saying? Because they have permission because darkness is inside your heart. That's what the whole key is for the rulers of darkness. It's keeping people, you know, living in sin. That's why they're making sure that people remain in the simple state. Not just to, you know, to get them to hell, but to prepare them for, you know, CERN and all these evil entities to come out. And they have room, just as Jesus was talking about in, you know, uh, Matthew's uh, 12 about the, you know, uh, that, you know, one cast out the devil and the devil couldn't find a place to uh, say that but now seven you know he brought, he goes inside back inside the place that he was cast out because it was empty and nothing was in there and brought seven more that's the ideal of what's going to be going on concerning but it's going to be going on in a major way major way it is Words cannot describe, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, that's why I'm, you know, promoting the kingdom of God. You know, it's time to seek the kingdom of God and, all, and his righteousness, you know what I'm saying? And that's what should be the agenda. That's what I'm telling people about the agenda. That these evil, you know, forces are going to come and they're going to hunt people. They're going to be literally hunt. You're going to be in a super duper scary movie. It's going to be a scary movie itch, you know what I'm saying? And you don't, you're not realizing, and because here's the thing, y'all don't respect darkness. People don't respect darkness. People don't respect what Jesus is saying. You know what I'm saying? Because some of the days are new. They think, ah, no, man, this is real. This is going to be ridiculous. And of course, the Nephilim is coming. That's going to be straight out of the movies. You know what I'm saying? What well, you're going to be seeing is, you know, uh, we, some of them wing it, some of them just monsters, some of them, you know, crazy. You know, it's it's going to be in a movie, like a movie. I, I did videos of this, you know. Uh, and, hey, it's coming. This is it. This is it. This is crazy. And it, But it's not going to be pretty much what the ideal rapture is like. That's not going to be the rapture ideal. But it's going to, whatever these events is going to happen, it's going to proceed to the rapture. Now you say, well, Matt, you don't know what you're talking about. 
Look, study First Corinthians 15 and 23. It says, but here's the thing. It says that, you know, there's going to be an event that's going to get the church in order. Because the church is going to be in correction. I mean, it's going to get judgment or more likely correction. And it's going to get the church in order. And then when the church get in order, it's going to be, the kingdom of God is going to be established when the church get in order. And when they get in order, they're going to attack the kingdom of darkness. And in the attack of the kingdom of darkness, they're going to rule and reign for a good while. And then all of a sudden, you know, then the rapture is going to take place. And then all of a sudden, the inner Christ takes over. You know what I'm saying? When that, after that, you know what I'm saying? Concerning, you know, Matt, uh, Revelations 12 and Revelations 13 is going to proceed, you know, that you need to understand that this war in heaven is going to happen. And the light will prevail. And you notice in Revelation 12, it talks about a woman, and she says that she will give forth wings. And wings, wings, more likely, I tell people that woman that going to put on wings is the uh, bride of Christ. You know what I'm saying? That's the bride of Christ. Zion, that's Zion. Zion is the bride of Christ. And the Zion, because the ideal of the rapture is not about really Jesus coming down and getting the church. No, it's about that a trumpet being sound and the uh in the um, bride of Christ rising to him. You know what I'm saying? If you read the scripture it says it's rise up to him and and he's gonna meet them in the cloud. And that's the first but he he's not coming down. You know what I'm saying? He's staying up in the cloud. But the next idea is when he's going to come down on the Mount of Olives at, near the uh, end of the tribulation. He's coming down on the Mount of Olives. That's how the sequence is, is in the scriptures is going to go about. It's not, and the saints are going to be behind Jesus when he comes down on the Mount of Olives. And the thing is, that's how that works. And then they establish the millennium reign. And after the millennium reign, then it's going to be judgment, the white throne judgment, and then it's going to be the new heaven and new earth. That's the order in Revelations. So I'm going to teach about uh, little details of what I'm saying, but I want to show you this di dynamic, and I'm going to show in detail so you can believe what I'm saying concerning the scripture because it has to line up in scripture of how God is going to do things and but the problem of what's going to confuse everybody that people don't know about the uh, Jews and the Christians emerging you know what I'm saying could be coming you know one concerning the spirit of adoption that's in Romans 8 is in of course Paul talks about it in Romans 11 and it is and if you study Acts, the in the at the end of Acts, Acts 28, I think, Paul was talking about, you know, and warning the uh, Jewish people uh, before, I guess, his end of his time, death, about, you know, uh, the that idea that the emergency, the emergence of the Jews and Christians are going to occur in the future. You know what I'm saying? That we need to understand that is going to facilitate the divine plan of God so that we can understand it and go about doing it. All right, but that's the message. I'm going to get more videos to be more detailed in certain things about the scriptures. I wish I could put all the scriptures on here and show you the parallel scriptures because it's all lined up in the Word of God. You know what I'm saying? What I'm telling you. I mean, I know you don't may not believe me, but I'm going to one day show you and all scriptures, put the scriptures all together to show you this procedure. But that's the topic of the message. I hope this can make certain kind of sense for certain people and be ready for, you know, the emergency, the emergence of the Jews and Christians coming together. That's the message. God be the glory here forever, ever in Jesus' name, amen.